What's up? This is uh, Tark here from uh, smartbytrans.com. Zwift allows you to do all kinds of things with the keyboard. So if you run Zwift on a PC or a Mac, then you want to stick around and watch this video. I'm going to walk you through a number of keyboard shortcuts that will take your Zwifting experience up a notch. And if you find this video helpful or learn about a new shortcut or two, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button to help support what I do. And also subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. So I'll run you through the function keys first and some of the actions you can do with them. Then we'll move on to camera angle shortcut and then we'll move on to the menu shortcuts and we'll end it with workout specific shortcuts. The elbow flick, if you do not know what the elbow flick is, it is a sign that you give when you are in a pace line and in the front of the pack and you no longer want to pull. A flick of the elbow will alert the rider behind you that it is their turn to pull through. Uh, you've probably seen the elbow flick icon in the action bar menu or the companion app, but a quick way to trigger the elbow flick is by pressing the F1 key on your keyboard. Hopefully, if you are pulling in a pace line, the rider behind you knows what the elbow flick is, or he might just think that you are airing your underarm. The F2 key is a shortcut to wave to other riders. Just a little nice gesture to other riders when you pass them, uh, press that F2 key. The F3 to F7 will give various sounds like a ride on, ride on, by pressing the F3, the F4 key for hammer time, the F5 is nice, the F6 is bring it, and my favorite is the F7, I'm toast. If you press the F8, you will hear a little bell ring. Yes, even the tram bike has a bell ring. The F10 allows you to take a screenshot and it will save it to your computer or your phone if you have the Zwift Companion app running. You will also have the option to upload it to your Strava as well. So when you see something you like, hit the F10 key for a quick screenshot. Moving on to number keys. The number keys will change your view and what you are looking at at the screen. It allows you to use different camera angles if you want to take a really cool screenshot or look around you and just get a different perspective of your avatar and uh, riders around you. The number one key is your default view that you see when you start Zwift. The number two key will zoom in closer to your avatar. And the number three key will give you your point of view. So no handlebar or anything like that. Number four gives you a side view of your avatar and the number five key is a low angle, free floating chase camera view. The number six key is a view from the front to see who's behind you. And the number seven is a side by or a side flyby camera view. And the number eight is a chopper chase perspective view with the helicopter sound and everything just like what you see on TV. The number nine key is an overhead top down view angle uh, and so you can see all the action around you. And the number zero key is a drone view. This is my favorite camera uh, they have. Uh, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the camera angle to go all the way around you or up and down. Also the plus and minus keys will zoom in and out. This is my favorite key when I want to capture different view angles and uh, you are in control of it. Oh, and all these camera angles are also available in uh, fan view mode. So if you are spying on someone or your competitor and want to take a good screenshot of your avatar passing him or her, you can do that too in the fan view mode. Moving on to the letter keys, and uh, we will start with the letter, you guessed it, the letter A. The letter A will do two things. It's a quick way to take you to the device pairing screen. It will also stop your avatar from moving. It's like pressing the brakes. And why would you want to press the brakes in Zwift? This is good to know because Zwift does not allow you to switch bikes if your avatar is moving. So if you want to quickly switch bikes in game, say you are in a race and uh, you want to switch to a gravel bike or a lighter bike to gear up for a long climb, pressing the A button will stop your avatar within a few seconds and take you to the pairing screen press the escape key and that will take you back and then you can just press the T key on your keyboard to take you to the gear menu selection screen where you can change bikes 
wheel, clothes, or use your sweat drops to buy a whole uh, new bike or wheels. The M button will bring up the chat menu uh, if you want to send a quick group text message. The P key will bring up the promotion code menu. Uh, this is where you can unlock certain custom gear, but you will have to have a specific code to do that. So let's say you joined a team and they want to give you their uh, their clothes or their, their uniform, you can just come here and enter the code that they gave you. The G button is a shortcut to bring up the power and heart rate graph when in sim riding mode. If you get a power up, press the space bar and that should activate it. Onto the air keys, the down arrow key will initiate a U-turn. Your avatar has to be moving faster than three miles per hour and no riders are blocking you from turning for you to be able to make a U-turn. The right key will select the right uh, route uh, if you get a route selection menu and the left key will select the left uh, route if you have a route selection menu. Okay, moving on to workout specific shortcut keys. If you are in workout mode and if you do not know what workout mode is or how to be in workout mode, when you log into Zwift and pair your devices in the right menu, there is this training button. If you click on it, it will take you to this workout selection screen where you can select a workout to do. If you select one of these workouts, then you are in workout mode and you should see this interval screen on the left side. You can also get to the workout selection screen by pressing the E button on your keyboard when riding and you will be taken directly to the workout selection screen. You won't lose your ride when you do that. And what I mean by that is, say you rode for one hour, then you decided to do a structured workout, you can press the E button on your keyboard to go to the workout selection menu and select a workout. And when you are all done, Zwift will save your full ride as one file or one ride, rather than split them into two different rides. When you are in workout mode, you have these intervals and you have workout intensity. 100% mean you are doing the workout as prescribed in relation to your FTP value. If you want to lower the intensity of your workout or increase it, you can change this value by up to 10% and you can do that by pressing the page up or page down keys on your keyboard. And if you have a Mac, hold down the function key and press the arrow up or arrow down keys. If you have a smart bike trainer and you decide to disable erg mode, you can do that by pressing the up key to bring up the action bar menu and then move to the erg button and hit the return key on your keyboard. Now your erg mode is disabled. Now if you want to increase or decrease resistance on your smart trainer, press the plus or minus keys on your keyboard and you should see this orange bar on top. That's your resistance bar. And the final key is the escape key. When you are all done riding and want to exit, just press the escape button on your keyboard and you'll get to the Zwift save ride screen, save your ride, and that's all. Also, the escape key usually takes you one screen back. So let's say you are in the workout selection screen or pairing screen, you can press the escape key to take you back to your avatar. These are all the keys that I know of. If I missed a shortcut, let me know down in the comment section. Okay, one final tip for you. This is not a keyboard shortcut, but a Zwift companion app shortcut that I wanted to mention. On your companion app, as you are riding, on the map screen, you should see this white circle around you or your position on the map. If you don't see it, that means you are zoomed out too much. Tap on the plus button to zoom in and that white circle should appear. If you tap on it, it should give ride-ons to up to five uh, people or five Zwifter uh, around you. After you tap, you must wait a few seconds before that circle come back again and you can tap on it to give more ride-ons. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Hope you find this video helpful. Oh, one more thing. This t-shirt has all the Zwift keyboard shortcuts that I talked about and I will leave a link to where you can get one for yourself below in the description, right below the like button. Also, I will link to all the shortcuts that I talked about where you can even download a PDF file and a keyboard uh, graphic image for your reference. Okay, there you have it. Hopefully you find this guide useful. If you did, give this video a like to help this channel. And if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.